Hi, this is me again. This is the second video of this channel. Today I uh, will be talking about Toisalay's crossover, as you can see right here, right here. Um, I came across this album and I came across this so, so interesting artist, Toisalay, with such a signature voice and sound. Now, during the opening of this album, uh, it's the track Chosen, and Saleh will surprise you, especially if you're coming from sex education, discovering that Dua Saleh makes music as well. At this point, I need to make clear that I have a Word file where I keep my notes, so I'm not losing myself in everything I have to say. Now, their vocals are whispery yet confident, um, slightly echoing inside minimal instrumentation, mainly relying on a kick, ethereal keys and bass. What's really interesting about the style of their singing is that they can sound somehow sluggish yet so present at the same time. This is amazing. Um, Chosen is a contemporary R&B track, which is approached uh, gently from an artist that has their own way of being sensual and erotic. Now, the following day to day is made for the summer either to dance to at some beach bar in the Greek islands or to jam to in the car heading for the beach. Not sure if it's just uh, me missing the summer holidays. Uh, but day to day gave me this vision of the cool sea on the feet uh, or the hot sun rays on the face, you know, on the skin. And then Saleh is going Latin with this heavy banger, Quentame, where the kicks have uh, the starring role and together with the vocal effects reminded me of Arca's kick series. Uh, this collection of five albums they released in 2021, all at once. Quentame is super energetic through its uh, industrial dance vibe and hot Spanish temperament. Sales' expression gets sassier here too, showing how, how flexible and ad adaptive they can be, bending their signature style any way it is needed every single time and then comes my cup of tea my personal favorite of this album this obscure vocal where we get this gentle mix of techno house and let's say dark pop only to give a taste uh, of the vibe this track gets the best out of Saleh's indolent performance and murmuring articulation for it's just as subdued and uh, psychedelic and mystical the combination is truly ideal and the outcome makes focal one of the most standout tracks in the album if not the most standout one it's just a personal opinion then then Saleh uh, goes back to the Latin rhythm with feet and feet and buzzing, where they sound extra playful and more eager to explore their vocal dynamics. Even though feet sounds kind of flat to me, I definitely recognize uh, its addictive properties and the reason it got more attention and the music video or the music video got uh, the attention, drove the attention to the song, I'm not sure. Anyway, still, uh, I'm always standing on the experimental side of things and of music as well. And for that reason, I can't help being drawn to buzzing, being drawn by buzzing. This goes in my personal top together with Poco for its huge huge aggressive percussion and primal choir that offers this ritualistic pagan flavor which makes the track really transcending absolutely stunning 
Tick Tick is this powerful reggaeton, totally hit single worthy material where Soleil is exploring their Spanish output further, making one of the most memorable moments in the album for sure. I especially appreciated the parts where their voice um, is reverberating in this mesmerizing, elegant way. Then the following Pearl. Sounds very familiar when you're listening to Duasale's music, meaning it has all those qualities we've mentioned during the beginning of this review that make their own per personal sound, that make uh, Saleh's personal sound, performance style, instrumental approach, etc. Personally, I find it one of the least memorable pieces in here, and same goes for Trash Snacks, where the artist is leaving their addictive beats behind and takes a more abstract direction. Yeah, not much I connect with here. Anyhow, the track definitely brings uh, its own flavor into this uh, body of work. Nothing of the above applies to the closing track, Fave Flav, where we have uh, an Eastern-vibed pop gem where Saleh together with Duckworth, if my pronunciation is uh, right, where uh, both artists make one of the most addictive tracks in this album, they have this um, chill, laid-back attitude working in perfect coordination over a super fun uh, beat and this foxy flute melody. And so this chemistry between them, between these two artists, makes um, Fave Flav one of the most standout tracks in here. For sure. Uh, Dua Sale caught my attention about half a year ago through their Spotify exclusive song Macro Dosing, which I absolutely adored and didn't even know is the person who plays um, in the Netflix series. From this moment, they got a dedicated follower out of me. For sure. I'm really glad I got the chance to come across their music for I wouldn't have listened to this album otherwise, most possibly, I don't know. All in all, Crossover is super fun, a super fun ride uh, in its very own special way, breeding experimental electronic sounds with uh, reggaeton beats and this Spanish temperament they effortlessly pull off. Uh, undeniably, really. I really love this album. Uh, Dua Soleil, for me, is very special because it's very rare for me to, to follow an artist that easily, to get drawn by an artist, by some quality they hide in here. I think it's her performing style and vocals and minimal uh, instrumentation and some kind of darkness, which I love. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this album. I hope I offer, I offered you a a great recommendation and maybe a new horizon to explore because her discography, even though she's pretty young, uh, it's pretty wide, I'd say, with many singles and EPs. So yeah, that was Duasale's crossover. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, both the review and the album. So yeah, until next time, bye bye.